Suicide is something we never used to talk about much, but talking about it can save lives, and that's where Need to Suicide Prevention comes in. The nonprofit runs a digital text and chat helpline and also goes into schools to help young people. As Tess Van Stratton shows us in this week's Vital People, Need to is also one of the Royal Victoria Marathon's Czech Charity Pledge Partners. Running is something Sabrina Studney has been doing since childhood, and she absolutely loves it. I love the solitude of running and the opportunity to just uh, compete with myself uh, whenever I go into any type of races. Sabrina's now training for the Royal Victoria Marathon along with co-worker Sandy Hodson. It's just nice to kind of tune out anything else that's maybe weighing on me or kind of clouding my brain and I can just focus on, um, you know, my surroundings, my environment and whatever I'm listening to. And with each stride, they're also helping to raise money and awareness for the nonprofit they work for, Need to Suicide Prevention, Education and Support. Need to is an organization focused on breaking the stigma and silence around suicide and mental health. So we work every day to prevent death by suicide and normalize having conversations about suicide, um, reaching out for support. That support includes a digital crisis and chat helpline for young people. We have a crisis line, uspace.ca, which is a national crisis line that works with folks 30 and under and provides text and instant messaging support, which is a really great way with youth because it's low barrier. Need to is one of the marathon's Czech charity pledge partners and the fundraising is more important than ever. Mental health struggle and thoughts of suicide are coming up more and more um, for these young people. And so we are, feel very fortunate to have the opportunity to go into schools and start those conversations, especially early on, so that as these students are growing up, they know that you know this is a common experience to go through these types of feelings. <laughs> Both women have been impacted by suicide and it's driven them to do everything they can to try and save lives and reduce the stigma. I have lost family and friends to suicide and I just have always known the more we talk about it, the more these folks will seek help and the more likely we'll prevent suicidal behaviors. I lost a classmate to suicide and that really opened my eyes to just the fact that, you know, it really um, can happen in, like anywhere in any community. It was something that really took my community off guard. Need to also has a support group for adults who've experienced suicide loss. A great opportunity for folks to come together and talk to other people who've experienced that loss, which is it's a very unique grief. And they hope that by running to raise awareness, fewer people will have to experience that loss. The Youth Space Helpline is available daily from 6 p.m. to midnight. If you or someone you know is in crisis, please call the 24-hour Vancouver Island Crisis Line at the number you see right here on the screen, or you can call the province-wide helpline at 1-800-SUICIDE. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.